Well, we had a great trip to Palm Coast, Florida in January, the week before school started for spring semester, and we took about three and a half eighths down of athletes, and we had some great training out there, really good water, and um, really mild weather, so just really great training conditions. We put a ton of miles on, and, um, and that really helped us transition into winter training, I think, with a, with a good purpose in mind. You know, it, it, it affected everyone. So we're, we're really emphasizing what we can control. We've, we've always aimed to be a team that was very adaptable and very resilient. So the fact that we have had some weather-related trials out of our control this year has is, is only been really testing our our ability to adapt and be resilient. So, um, you know, really, in a sense, we, we got what we asked for, and the team has been really great at performing well indoors and and treating it just as if as if we were on the water. What kind of standards we would have? We have the same things indoors, and so what happened with um, with the bean pot? Instead of racing March 28th, now it's it's been postponed to April 26th, and and that's part of a a good setup with having the bean pot early is that. Um, all the schools are equally affected, so you know it, it, it won't um, hurt anyone's travel schedule to, to move it, and we will be ready for it then. And otherwise, our, our, our goals haven't changed. And you know, every every school and every crew has its own challenges, and it's just how you meet them that matters. From our varsity eight last year, we had we had lost six of of those athletes, and we will we will have to work really hard to be better than last year. Um, and, and that was also the same in the case of 2014 and 2013. You always have to work harder to be better than you were the year before. So the way we planned for that is we, we really made sure that our athletes understood um, the challenges of, of what kind of leadership we needed. And our, our seniors this year, our class of 2015, was ready. I, I'd say the day of NCAA's last year, finals, they were, they were ready to step up and lead, and they've done a nice job. So that's how we're filling that void. In, in terms of in, instead of having the same people, what we're doing is, is taking all the good stuff from last year and, and enhancing that and also really bringing a, a high sense of urgency and, and power to that boat with, um, with the people that we have now. So um, we'll, be, we'll be traveling the first week in April. We're, we're going out to um, Cayuga Lake in Ithaca and what we're, we're doing is we're planning to race a double duel on, on Saturday. Um, or actually a double try because we'll be racing um, University of Rhode Island and Buffalo in the morning and then we'll be racing Iowa and, and Syracuse contesting the Kittle Cup in the afternoon. So that's going to be a really good test of, of the determination to carry through what we wanted to do over winter training, make sure that we're able to push ourselves really hard and, and not get distracted by the fact that you know there might be some novelty in there from not having taken that many on the water strokes. Um, we're looking for great performances from our crews we're looking for them to execute our race plans very well and to stay close to the technical goals we have. Even if it's, if it's not perfect, we want to make sure that we're ready to advance. I feel good about this year's team. I, we have a lot of, of determination from our upperclassmen. They learned a lot from last year. We, we had a tough season and we were able to persevere and just keep pushing through to the end and, and were able to earn a bid to NCAAs and, and um, that wasn't something that it looked like was going to be possible earlier in the season. But because we kept pushing with our same goals in mind, we were able to get what we wanted. And that's something that, that this year's seniors really understand very well. And, um, and we have a lot of, of really good power in our juniors, sophomores, and, and our new freshmen. Just really, they're very united. They trust each other. They're pushing really hard. And, and that's what I look forward to, to seeing what they can do on the water.